Hello everyone, Athra and Talon here. Welcome back to another episode of Retrobafest. In our last one, well, we got as far as surface tension and we took out our first helicopter. Significantly more difficult than um, the original Half-Life, which is not really a surprise because we've kind of found that about everything so far. Still, it could have been worse, obviously. I had to say it, didn't I? And me without any crossbow bolts, which means that Ithiosaur down there. The shit, there's two Ithiosaurs. That's different. There was only the one in the original. Okay, let's amp up this really annoying section and fucking double it for you. I'm not gonna be able to. Emergency drain, good, that's useful. I was hoping there'd be some crossbow bolts up here. There are not. I don't know if I can fire that thing underwater. I guess there's only one way. One really one way to find out. Having said that, if they're draining it, I may not need to deal with them. No, just a partial drain. Just a partial drain. Kind of see it a little bit, but not massively so. And only if I look at it in the right angle. I don't have any crossbow bolts left. I could do with crossbow bolts. Yep. Ow! Fuck you! I don't know if I could get through there or not. I could try it, I guess. It would be better if I didn't have to, but... I feel like I'm going to have to go that way. I'll grab what I can. Hope for the best. Because those bites are nasty. On a shapaloo! Hope this brings me out somewhere good. Ah, so I don't actually need to kill them in this one. That's good. That's that's good. I like that. I'm happy with that. Ah, we can just breathe for a moment instead. One health pack. Not something I need, but you know. I gotta say this level has been recreated quite beautifully. Just being outside here, and the water quality and things like that, it is actually stunningly beautiful. This hell's through to the other side here. We're gonna be going over there. Memory serves, we should be ending up on the side of an area before a cliff. Oh crap! Got him. Don't like the danger of death sign. How did that not kill you? Let me mention I don't really like the head crabs in this. Because I don't really like the head crabs in this. Right, let's see where this takes us. God, imagine if you got stuck in this pipe. What a... Just not very good way to go. There's a word for it. It's a bit of a disappointment. I can't remember what it is. Well, the American flag is not looking its best, is it? There's another Apache up there. Unfortunately, I don't think it knows we're alive yet, so let's use that to our advantage. I'm sure it will find out soon enough. Get off the... There we go. Still, apparently, every 
now and again an issue with the old uh, lifts there not lifts ladders things you know the stuff you climb around grab some have charge and get us most of the way up quick save Ready? Can't, go, can't, can't we get out there? Okay, I guess not. So now what? I find it very hard to believe we can't get through that door. But apparently not, so now what? Maybe go around here. I'm not sure I can take the rope, so let's try this. Maybe there'll be another way around over the other side. Yeah, there's one. God, this place is not great. Fuck you, head crabs. I'm not dealing with your shit. This is the way to go. I still don't feel like the um, hound eyes are actually malicious. I think they're just, it's an evolved tactic, uh, evolved defense mechanism. They feel more like friendly dogs than anything else. It's just that their way of showing love is by giving you a concussion. Let's see, this area has been heavily redesigned so I'm not quite sure where we need to go. Finding our way could be interesting. By interesting, I mean, oh god, oh god, we're all going to die. Power lines, let's try this way. Contaminated area. Lovely. I feel like if I go down there, there's no coming back from it, so let's see what else is around first. Entrance over there. Hello, right, yep, this could be our, our, our way. Where we need to go. What's this going to bring us? Ah! Good. Good, good. We're almost full. Oh, hey, that was worth doing. There's a couple of grenades there. But apparently we can only carry three. That's a shame. But never mind. Yep, this looks like it could be the way to go. Yep. We're being shot at, so I'm going to go with yes. Damn. I was hoping to throw that grenade back to the guy. I say I know there's at least one more guy. Damn, out of magnum ammo. Apparently I can burst better than those guys. Go figure. The AI, AI on these soldiers isn't always fantastic. He's just heard a gunfight. He's seen his mates get slaughtered. And what does he do? He stands there until I shoot him. Not the best. Still, at least we haven't got assassins blundering into trip mines, I guess. Not that I'd mind that too much because it makes them significantly easier. Where are we going here? Maybe this way? Nope, this just brings us out here. Ah, it might have been a good flanking route if I'd gone down this route. But over there. Storm drain hatch. Okay, that's the hatch. Cable. I'm guessing the 
control for it is over there. Yeah. Yay, I can follow cables. Oh, Christ. I was going to say there's still one left at least. That too. Everybody. Oh, great. Deal with these guys one at a time if I can. Don't like dealing with them in squads. There we go. Do not like dealing with them in squads. I want to know where they keep coming from. Anyway, this way is where we need to go. Um. Oh, we do have some Magnum ammo. Oh, if I'd known that, it would have been useful. Oh well. What else have I got? Quick stock take. Okay. Could be better, could be worse. Oh yeah. The mines. I'd forgotten about this area. Since the hatch is differently placed, I feel like this could go very badly. That's a few of them dealt with. To make sure that one is clear down there. Yes, yes it is. Okay. I want to stay on the rocks if I can. Tends to be our best placement. I remember from past playthroughs, they can't really place mines under rocks. Ow. I thought I'd actually detonated that minefield. Apparently not. Fuck you! Go on, piss off. Gonna take a chance here. Yep, that was the way to go. Definitely the way to go. There's the storm drain hatch, so quick save here and stick to the rocks. I can see the two mines right there. Oh, fuck's sake, I'm trying to get up here. Yeah, okay, that'll do. They're not well buried, that's for sure. Another one there. Try and stay to the rocks, as I say. That uh, works for me usually. Great, which will allow us to get in here with relatively little difficulty. Shit. Well, I didn't want to go back that way anyway. Yep. Now we're on the side of the cliff. The storm drain hatch. Which means we've got more fresh hell to deal with. Ah, oh, I almost missed the valve theme that usually crops up about now. I'm trying to see what I can see without being spotted too much. Okay, I'm going to have to drop down, aren't I? <laughs> that is absolutely stunning. I'm quite liking the guitar riff for this as well. Still can't see anyone. Don't like that. One scratch one guard. He was in a better place, I couldn't hit him. There's the there's the sentry gun. That was much better hidden. I couldn't hit it from uh, up above, that's a shame. But it's alright. We're fine. The path feels wider, that's good.
makes things a little easier. But not completely wider. This area still terrifies me. It's far too easy to take a slight wrong step and be absolutely dead on the rocks below. Can I climb this? No, Gordon Freeman cannot climb a rope. However, given the suit I'm wearing, I don't really find that much of a surprise. The combination of the suit and the amount of weapons and ammo I'm carrying suggests that anybody would have trouble climbing a rope. At least I feel like it. What do we got down there? Okay, I thought there might be a guard, but nothing. There's a health charger there. Be useful. If we can get to it. And a health charger as well. And a, a random door built into the side of the mountain. What else? I feel like there's an ambush. Oh shit. I feel like there's an ambush coming and I don't like that. There's one. Boom. Two headshots. Lovely. Oh, you are shitting me. There's no way on earth. <sighs> Have I really got to use that to get across? No. No, I don't. Nasty. Very nasty. It felt like maybe you had to swing on the... Uh, on the limpet there. Maybe you just gotta really carefully jump. I do not like this. Oh fuck. I made it just under fire below. Fortunately, I'm likely to do more damage from up here than they are. Magnum tends to be a little bit more accurate. Is that another guard? Looks like it. Well, if it was, then it's not anymore. Okay, got myself some weapons. Grab myself a few more grenades. Crossbow ammo. Yes, please. Ah, when did I end up with most of my crossbow ammo? Oh, well. Take that clip. I don't know why I can't take the clip if I've got 10 ammo for it. I should be able to... You've got to... It doesn't have a storage big enough to carry all the ammo without reloading, which is a shame. Kind of a pain in the ass. But it's fine. I can put the crossbow to good use. Ah, okay, so it is a door, but it's not one that I can use with ease. Fuck, I don't want to do this, but I don't really have much of a choice. Okay, no slidey, slidiness this time, that's good. Normally you slide down that thing at speed. It's not an area I like. Not that that missing stair is much better. This place is a health and safety nightmare. An accident today, no job tomorrow. How about an accident today, dead tomorrow? I was going to say those look like rockets, which means we must be close to our rocket launcher. How did you survive? How are you still alive after all of the firepower I poured down here? And again, why didn't you do anything about your mates? Ammo supply? Huh. Which means the rocket launcher is definitely coming soon and we're going to be expected to come back here. Or, that was just an intro to the mechanic. Yep, nope. See if we can get to cover, shall we? I love this goddamn weapon. Okay, you guys are officially done. Did you leave somebody behind to guard the rocket launcher? No, it doesn't look like you did, does it? Did you leave behind the rocket launcher? It's the important part. Oh good. Okay, so you left something behind to guard the uh, rocket launcher. At 
least one more turret. But it's built into the floor, or it's crashed into the floor over there, so it might not be too difficult to take down. There we go, lasers are offline. But I only have one magnum shot left. Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah, if Gordon can figure out how to use a uh, a rocket launcher this quickly, I feel like he wouldn't take very long to figure out how to use a, um, you know, an Apache gunship, you know, like the one we saw earlier. Never mind. Anyway, we're going to end this level or end this particular episode with a gunship battle. Also, ow. Wow, that was anticlimactic. Apparently, even though I missed with the rocket, and I thought the guidance system went way off, it connected absolutely fine and smoked the helicopter in a single shot. Go figure. Let's just make sure it's dead, shall we? I don't particularly want to be surprised by it later, but I definitely saw a big explosion. Yeah, no, I think it's dead. I don't think it's coming back. Well, in which case, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you have, I'd love to see you for the next one. Till then, bye.